what's going on guys welcome back to another video as you see this beautiful locker room in back of me um uh, colorado buffaloes now i must admit um i wasn't following in colorado before coach prime got there but when he's there yeah now i'm following colorado because i am documenting a moment in time where you have someone that's a hall of famer turned coach took over a power five program and trying to build this program out of the mud that's why i'm following it. i'm following the uh, moment in time this article here it says colorado buff fan base a at potential risk after Deion sanders goodbye despite current hype they're talking about five ten years down the road why not just enjoy the season now because what they're trying to say is this surge in interest is not really the Colorado core fan base. You know, um, these are Dion fans. But I must say that when, yeah, a lot of the um, interest could become uh, because people are Dion fans. But a lot of those Dion fans are spending money. Okay, a lot of those Dion fans are buying merch. Okay, I'm just giving it to you the real deal here. Okay. That's what he brought to the table. A lot of these people are spending money. But let's just go over this um, article here. So Colorado fan base, just a flash in the pan. It might be a hard pill to swallow, but Josh Pate has a reason why he believes so. Well, I have a reason why I believe what I believe. Now, you can believe Josh Pate all you want to. You know, he has a little bit more authority, I guess, because he gets a lot more views. But... It, Josh Pate just giving his opinion. That's pretty much what he's doing, just like I'm doing. So I'm just letting you know that. Since Deion Sanders took over Colorado Buffaloes as head coach, the viewership and their fan base have outgrown its britches. Nationally speaking, Colorado has featured in four of the top seven most watched games in 2023, with this upset against TCU delivering a TV high of 7.26 million viewers in Fox primetime window. Amid the astounding growth, Pate just has one curious question. How many of these actual Buffalo fans and how many are just Deion uh, Sanders fans? One might say the line between the two is almost irrelevant. Yes, it is irrelevant. When Colorado is getting 113.2 million in revenue in just six fall 2023 games. Let me stop there. You see the revenue a hundred when we Dion fans spend money, make no mistakes about it. Now we spend money. I have a lot of merch from Colorado. I wouldn't have never bought that merch if Dion was wasn't on the team. I'm just being honest with you. But being that he's there, that school is reaping the benefits. Just like um, Jackson State was reaping the benefits when uh, Coach Prime was there. So let me continue for now. Yes, but Pate is prompting CU fans to think a bit long term, about five or seven or ten years after. Let me stop there. Why are we even thinking about five years in the future? You know what? Anything can happen in five, seven, and ten years. Why are you even talking about his that 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 comment really doesn't don't make any sense. I can see if you're thinking next year he's leaving, but five, seven, ten years after, that's just nonsense. Um, when Deion Sanders will be gone from Colorado, he said, let's think a bit long term about five or seven or 10 years after when Deion Sanders will be gone from Colorado. Just like all good things, Deion Sanders reign in CU would also come to an end. And when it does, the certain the sudden surge in Buffs uh, Nation fan base would experience an even steep decline in numbers. Um, the reason is Deion Sanders fans go away. So but pretty much what he's saying is they're not really CU fans. Um, the, these guys don't matter. No, Deion fans do matter. Okay. Remember that 113.2 in revenue? That's coming. A lot of that is coming from his fan base. Yes, they do matter. And maybe when he do leave, maybe the interest will go away. But we don't know yet. We don't know if the interest is going to go away. Let's just enjoy Look, the way things are going on in this world, let me just tell you something real quick. The way things are going on in this world, you need to take one year at a time. Do you hear me? Hell, you need to take one moment at a time. Uh, let's see. So has Deion Sanders turned Colorado football around? 
it's not just Pate who is suggesting that Deion Sanders has brought up the standard in Colorado. Let me just stop. Yes, he's turned it around. The local economy out there is thriving. The merch is at an all-time high. Ticket sales at an all-time high. Overall interest in the program is at an all-time high. So, of course, we don't need Josh Pate um, to tell us that, even though he's giving his opinion like I'm giving mine. But, it, you know, we live in a social media society where whoever has the most clout obviously makes the most sense. No, I no, he, no, that's not how it works with me. Okay, I remember life without this internet. Okay, he's giving his opinion or whatever, but he's saying five, 10 years, 15 years from now. We don't know what's going to happen next year. You see those ships out there off the coast? That's a that's a different topic. We don't know what's going to happen. Let's just enjoy this year. How about that? Why don't you talk talk about the revenue that he created um, in that local economy? A lot of people are eating. If I go up there to watch a game, where am I going to stay? Where am I going to eat? Where am I going to, you know, eat, you know, dine? I'm going to go to one of the local businesses. So everybody is benefiting off of that. And that's the positive thing that I want to say here that we want to take away from this. It's only going to get bigger, especially if they start winning. It's only going to get bigger. The ride is only going to continue. Yeah, uh, some uh, Coach Prime did bring a lot of fans with him, Josh Pate. I mean, he's a Hall of Famer. A lot of us were, were watching him play as kids, man. You might not remember him playing as a kid. I don't think you're old enough, but... A lot of us remember him playing as kids, man. See, you guys are a part of that um, hate train. That's what you guys, I'm watching y'all. And yeah, oh yeah, I got my eyes on you. How'd that song go? I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I'm watching you because you're a part of it. Okay? Yeah, he's, he's you know, he yeah, he's doing this and that there. But what about five years from now? That's what, that's what, that's what you sound like. You know? Don't what why are we worried about five, ten years from let's worry about 2024, 2025 season. How about that? Guys, I digress. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. You know I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. But before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave a comment below. Take care.